Hi guys, AD Video Editor here, and in this tutorial I will be showing you and going over the Project Media, Explorer, and Media Generations tab in Sony Vegas. So let's open up the software now. In the left upper left hand side you should see these tab you should see all the tabs, including Project Media Explorer, Transitions, Video Effects, and Media Generations. And if you don't see them, you should go to the View, Window Layout, Default Layout, and now you should see them. So, um, first is the Project Media tab, and in this tab is every piece of media that you use in Sony Vegas. So whether so, let's say I go File, Import, and, and put some media in there. It's automatically saved in the Project Media so I can use it in the timeline and then to use it in the timeline I just simply drag it in there not only does it have to be videos but also songs is put stored right in there or songs or audio are sort of stored right in there and I can simply drag them to where I desire I'm just going to delete that for now Next is the Explorer tab, and basically the Explorer here is like any other Explorer in Windows, where you have all your folders, files um, under my computer, and you simply navigate to where it is. Generally, it's under the C drive, users, and then you have, you'd have your name, my name's Adam, so it'd be under Adam, and then I'd have all my images all my um, media so under documents music pictures videos and as you can see I'm just clicking the plus arrow to get in it or I can also double click it to open it up and also as you could probably tell when I click on a file or when I double click on a folder that folder appears in this section here and you can easily look in it more instead of having just this list also as I showed you in my last tutorial with um, editing the layout, you can simply um, adjust this um, window so um, it's easier for your eyes to see, or if you need more um, space to see something. And lastly, we have the Media Generations tab. In this tab is one you'll be using probably the most. Media Generations, as it says, is just Media Generations. I mean, G media generators. My bad. And as you see here, I have all these different types of media generators, going from checkerboard, color gradient, credit roll, noise texture, prototype titler, solid color, test pattern, tiles and text, legacy text. And pretty much, it's pr it's straightforward that a checkerboard is just pretty much a checkerboard um, media generation. So let's say I want to put one of these in. I c I'll just drag the default for show. I'll drag it into my um, timeline and there you go. And then you'll get this new window with um, this new window will appear and I'm just gonna attach it to my window on the left side. And this shows all the settings to adjust the media gener um, the media. So let's say I want to adjust the colors. Instead of it being black and white, I can just click color one, maybe change it to red, color two, I could change it to let's say blue. And as you see in my preview, it the colors change to red and blue. Um you can also click down these and just adjust everything, edge blending to make them blend more. And also, as you can see, the more they blend, it sort of turns them into circles. And it kind of just lets you play with everything to how you like it. Whether you want bigger squares, smaller squares, tiny ones, or you don't want squares, little rectangles. And also, here's the grid offset, which just basically moves everything over a little left, right, down, up, upon, depending on how you adjust the X and Y axis. And just a reminder, the X axis is the horizontal. So when you adjust that, your image will move left and right, and the y-axis is vertical, so adjusting that will move up and down. So I'm just going to delete this, since I don't need it anymore, and back to media generators. 
And so here are a bunch more under the checkerboard that you can um, add in and play with. And everything under the checkerboard will have the same options to like adjust it. Um, the next is the color gradient. And it pretty much just has a bunch of cool tools. Um, you can go like an actual gradient of white to black, or there's also an elliptical ring. And I'll show you that right now. So basically, um, this is pretty cool if you just want an elliptical or circle of some sort. And if you would move, and as you see here, there are these numbers 1 through 3. And that adjusts each thing on it. So as you see here, I have this faded line in the inside the actual yellow um, saw line in the middle then the faded on the outside and if I adjust these it sort of adjusts that you know bring the faded more bringing the line in and adjusting the faded yellow or the feather at the end and so you can also adjust the colors let's say I want the color one I can make that little red color two bluish color three green and you know all depends on how you want it. Uh, next is the credit roll. And credit roll you generally use at the end if you want to have credits. And these are pretty much all the same thing. So I'm just going to show you the plain scrolling on black. And so here's the order. You have the header. Well, there are three types of, of how you can have the credit roll, sort of. So one way is the header. Then you have the general sub I, sub item text and then you have just the I don't know how to describe it generally you, the part that you would show in the credits the title of the person and the name so you see here this part here is the header the sub item and then how the other part would appear the dual line thing and then also under styles you can adjust um, the how each thing looks, the header, you can adjust the font, font color, um, and the same thing with everything else. Then we have noise textures, and these are just a bunch of textures that have cool looks to them. And some presets, you know, you see lightning, moss, wood, and then there are just some other like cool things that you might like incorporate into your video depending on what you have. The prototype titler is just basically um, a more slightly more advanced text editor. I personally do not use it because I find this too complicated to use when it because it's very unnecessary because it's just like hard to get around and I find this part very confusing. However, if you want to use it, as you can see, you have your text. Uh, I will going to select it, adjust what it says, and then your style, you can adjust this, um, the fill color, whatever, like that, Hold on. make sure you have it selected when you uh, make the adjustment, and so you know, you can play with it a little bit, play around, make it look nice, and it's pretty straightforward. Although I personally do not like this and do not recommend it. Then you have a solid color, which is just basically if you want a random solid color in it. Red, get red. Orange, get orange. Pretty straightforward. Uh, test pattern is sort of just like those bars you see on like an old TV. And just like um, something that you might use if you need it in your video. And then you have your tiles and text, which is um, shows you some cool ways you can have text move. For example, this action flip, if I drag it in there and I play it, you'll see in the bit preview, it's not just a regular text appearing. It has this action flip to it. So basically, if you want a text with a little bit more motion, you would use this. And they have a lot more, you know, flying from right, roll and grow slide up and if you just hover over it with your mouse it'll show you what it does and lastly is legacy text which just gives you some um sample text in here with like already preset settings you know so here you have blue outline and so on 
And that's pretty much what um, these three tabs do. I will go over the transitions and video effects tab in my next tutorial. So uh, um, that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe. Please like. Please email me with any questions. You can contact me at ad.videoeditor at gmail.com. And make sure that dot is a period. Don't actually spell out D-O-T. And I, once again, as I've mentioned, I will respond uh, much faster than how Sony Help would respond to your Sony Vegas question. So once again, thank you for watching, and please um, come back to watch future tutorials.